Hello there everyone, welcome to this how-to video, so, <laughs> like, before I do, this, is, this video is so far being done, because I'm kind of debating after doing this, if I should be doing, like, uh, like a long play stream of some other game, or a long play of, like, you know, GTA 4 again, where, basically, it's the best possible that I can do on PC, uh, until, like, certain, you know, other GTA formats come to play, but, anyways, this is a how-to video, and this how-to video, I'm going to be showing something that you can do with dxbk.com that will help with when you're playing GTA 4 or certain bad ports like Saints Row 2 or Prototype or just any kind of bad ports around that time period. Or even this will work for Bully where it would help with the game to perform better by make, by making sure the game is forced to use the dedicated GPU and not use your integrate on GPU because some games at the time they don't know how to properly detect the very dedicated one if you're basically using the built-in screen of your gaming laptop. So as you can see here on dxbk.com, one part of that helps is see this device filter command right here. Make sure that there's no um, hash check right here so that way it knows to go for this very command and make sure to filter it to the very dedicated GPU, so for example in task manager if your if your dedicated GPU is labeled as the given number as 1, make sure to have it set as that filter instead of um, not having that command so when you're doing this command definitely I always go for your dedicated uh, graphics card when it comes to this now for GTA 4 here, another thing that helps, uh, and I don't know why, is that if you want to really make sure you get the best kind of frame rate out of it, it is best to also make sure to play it at 720p. I know if you're live streaming all that, it's a little bit of a pain, but the thing that helps with GTA 4's performance, at least on my gaming laptop, that even though I like to go for 1080 for a ten for resolution ten eighty p seven twenty p helps the performance more for some reason. But anyways, another part of it is this command right here. Like instead of it like going from direct thirty nine to Vulcan, instead this command tries to a bit do even more overriding by making sure that you know that it really is you know having the uh, rendering only in Vulcan and not just like on uh, Drop 3D to just there. You know, so I just have the this kind of you know swap this this kind of thing to make sure that that's more Vulcan you know being enabled. Now other than those two um another command I like to show here um uh, and this, like, I don't, I don't know how much these two here help, but if you have, like, a, in, like, if you have, like, your gaming laptop ha has a, you know, integrated Intel, like, integrated Intel graphics, definitely, like, if you, like, with this one com other command to be used, though, you don't have to really do this. I just did this just in case to make sure to hide the, Intel GPU and have it as some other kind. But, um, let's see, let me just keep scrolling. Um, uh, come on. Where is it? It's a sort of command that, that basically make, um, uh, tells GXBK to make sure the game does not at all read the very, you know, the very, uh, integrated graphics. So I also have this enable where it makes sure that the game uh, properly uses all CPU cores. Uh, okay, let's see here. Model 3. Uh, another part of it that helps, of course, is that if you're having a game on a high resolution and the game may, have, may not recognize it, 
uh, that well and Windows just does its best to upscale. I made sure to enable where JXVK, uh, you know, does its best to help with not having some kind of upscale blur. But there's this one command that I really want to show that I don't know how many, if any much others have really shown it. Well, let me just type in. So right here, this is our command line. It's how it's how to video, and I'll be demonstrating it with GG4 here that I have. But as you can see, this very command line in the dxbk.com comp file, which is the configuration file, and you can download um, this from what from the GXBK, you know, GitHub. So this high integrated graphics from applications. This for certain bad ports of yesteryears. Definitely have to definitely make sure that that there's no hashtag here and that you have set for true because that way for a game laptop that if you're using a built-in display like I am right now. You definitely want to have this set for true, so that way the game only bet only looks to use the dedicated graphics, and and that it just gets displayed through to the uh, built-in display. Now I already like when I was having things set in stone already. I like I put the config into like Saints Row 2 as well as prototype which for time for time being is just a in a in a it's, instead of it being a steam copy or something stuff by disk i just have it in a folder until i can put down the money for a legit disk or something like that but anyways uh because this feels in 1080p i'll i'll be first of course tapping on gg4 and also, of course, uh, I tried in the config to see if the if JXBK can override what GG4 senses uh, for your you know for the amount of RAM you have, but I still have to do like a, a VRAM override command. So as you can see here, uh, let's just say that before recording this FPS. This certain frames per second value was higher. I don't know why each time on my game laptop or otherwise that that I just have just issues with recording on I use the OPS to record GT4 and that there's a performance hit. I don't know how long it'll take for so Okay, so MSI Afterburn is also not showing up. Great. So I'm going to. So for you guys, it. Um, you know. For you guys, uh, for seeing this in OBS, the very. Uh, you guys possibly won't be able to. You know, see this entirely, but right now I have a 720p. And at 720p, I have seen it go into the upper 90s of FPS with not recording. I don't know why that is. On, uh, you know, that there's a performance hit. But, but yeah. Uh, so far, uh, out, of the, out of the FPS counter that we've seen. Yeah, I don't know what that I don't know what that word that she just said uh, means. So I'm pausing to hopefully get up. Uh, okay, so FPS counter working. I I don't know how long it'll be until the FPS counter on Steam recovers. But right, for you guys, you hopefully you guys are seeing this that a. Well, the recording course would be at 60 frames, but, you know, 
my aim with this very video is just showing of how to try to how to get certain certain uh PC games to other paths to work better on game laptops using certain commands and JSPK uh you know JSPK uh, config file. Now I have other mods put into GJ4 and another part of it is that you don't want to really have that much of a heavy load on the settings either. Also, for me, I definitely have a way better time of playing the Snowstorm mission than a certain Red Fluke. If you... Uh, there's a certain person that that is kind of near that certain made-up name that I give that, you know, that is kind of a... Uh, but again, it's his first time playing, and sure, when I was first time playing, I... You know, I have my struggles, but I didn't really do what he did. Get out of the vehicle. <laughs> now, we're all been lost to the but we're not. Like, I could straight up hit cancel on him if I wanted to. But anyways, this is a this is a game. So the only thing that helps is not going with very high. Like the only time I can go with very high is that when I have the game being played with a connected um, external screen. I I don't know why the like even with these commands here, it'll still like it'll you know I just try to think of some kind of way to make a, I just. I thought I'd make this how-to video to, to show uh, some way to help improve the very performance of this game when, like, when you're feeling, if you're feeling to play this game on uh, your built-in game laptop screen instead of, of, like, having to play this game with, you know, having, with the game laptop to having, you know, an external display, you know, just to be display, well, you know, just for the external ones to be only display too. When recording, there isn't that much for FPS hits. And I may just show GTA 4 for this recording, but yes, um, thank you guys so much for watching and all that, and yeah, peace.